Yeah, with the with the 450 class being the full season, all 17 rounds, I I'm really pumped about that because I enjoy going to the races. Um, it's something that myself and my family do together. Um, we you know we live to race, and uh, it's just it kind of bums me out when I don't get to go racing. The last two years, I've kind of continued our boot camp program until the first race so that was an extra six weeks of that uh, kind of strenuous deal so I'm actually looking forward to going racing which will be a little bit less load and a little bit more fun and rewarding than just training the whole time so for me it's uh, kind of a welcome change. Uh, yeah I've ridden the 450 quite a bit I actually did a year of British Championship on the 450 in 2009 um, I did Last year, during the summer, I rode the 450 pretty much the whole time. I rode the 250 only like one, sometimes two days a week. So I've done quite a bit of time on the 450, but I only started with the new factory edition about six weeks ago when I started riding again after my shoulder injury. I mean, some tracks kind of favor the 250, uh, especially the test tracks here in California seem to be a little tighter, and I feel like that kind of favors the 250. So for me, like speed-wise, it's not not much of a difference it's more just getting used to the weight of the bike and uh, trying to kind of manage the manage the engine rpms and stuff a little bit better than what i did on the 250 where I just kind of rode it wide open uh if i weren't a racer um i've always been super into math so i would like to be a civil engineer something that's kind of close to my heart my dad's uh uh, sort of a site builder, ditch digger for a living, so it's something that I've always kind of been interested in is engineering and um, engineering either either civil or mechanical uh, would be kind of that dream job aside from motocross.